Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, before 5 o'clock in New York on Wednesday, April 30th, 2014 in the CISA, the daily report for gold and silver. We are continuing with a little bit more pressure, although off the lows, we're still off about 4 or $5 in gold. Uh, 1291.10 current print, low 84.60, high 1299.50. Keep shooting for that 1300 and cannot hold it. As I said, puts it off about four or five dollars on the day. Silver also continues to drift lower, but it's actually off considerably in terms of percentage losses, off about one and a third percent today, down 25 cents. Also trading dramatically below what we had pegged at support, which is 1958. The low, 1897. The high, 1952. More on silver towards the end of the show. You know, there's no doubt we're continuing with downside pressure. When we consider that this market has made a play now on a couple of occasions for 1300 unable to take that out, we're starting to see a defined range beginning to develop on the high side, it's having difficulty at 1300, so we're pegging resistance currently there. You can see these points of resistance here. You can also see it here. These are the last times it's attempted to make that. On the other hand, there's our resistance support though. It seems to be we've got good support at 1275. 1287 is another point we really want to see it hold. And that's the point we have seen it hold lately, although it has dipped under there. As I said, 84 is a low today. It has managed to trade and it looks like it will close above that point. However, there can be no doubt we are not seeing the kind of follow through I'd hope to see. But we have to realize that this market, which is absolutely categorically fundamentally driven and has been adding and subtracting what I'll call safe haven premium or lack of premium based upon what's been going on in the Ukraine. We have other economic data which is now coming out. I will say this, I do believe that we see supportive action in gold even with it down in that we aren't really seeing this market go down drastically. However, it has been trading lower. We're looking at a daily chart. When we look at this daily chart, it's quite apparent to me that as we came down, we had the Three River Morning Star and that right in here. We had confirmation on the following day, which is this candle here. However, if you look at these last couple of candles, you get a bearish scenario in terms of just straight candlestick patterns. And I'm referring to these candles here. In essence, you do have a dark cloud cover here, although they are relatively medium-sized bodied candles, you do have this red candle closing at or below the midpoint. Now, that's followed by a doji. We talked about the doji as being a consolidating factor. It can be a pivot point, as we saw in here, but it also can be a sign of consolidation. But typically, in a sign of consolidation, you would get the following day moving back towards this upward direction. In other words, what we would be looking at would be as follows. As the market began to move up, had a corrective action, trades sideways for a little while, and then moves back up. Now, we're not seeing that. There's no doubt we're not seeing that. Our stops are still in play, and as I've been saying, my sense is as long, I'd like it to hold, the, of course, the, the 1287, and that is a pretty key level, but we haven't even gone near or tested these lows, and I'm hoping it won't, but I also believe that we've got really strong support in this area. We're going to have to see. We have numbers that are hitting right now. We also have the FOMC meeting, which we're not expecting fireworks from, and we have the scenario that has been developing in the Ukraine that seems to be unraveling day by day. So we talked about this chart a little bit yesterday. It's a weekly chart. I've got a multitude, multitude of different FIB retracements. We talked about the fact that they, the starting point, the, the price that it starts from are these lows right in here. They then all go to the top and then they form these different levels. We also talked about the fact that what we look for in this kind of activity really is harmonics. And harmonics are simply where you have two different time and psych price, time 
and price cycles coming out with relatively the same number. We talked about the fact that 92 to 95 is an area that's important. Market is trading just under that, 9105. It has a little bit left before it goes to the afternoon break and then into the afternoon session. At least that's what I call that out in Hawaii. The afternoon session, of course, is waiting for it to uh, begin to trade overseas and then wrap back around the world. But this is a pretty important number, and I would like to see this market kind of close and find support above 92 to 95. However, as of right now, we're currently trading, as I said, 91 and change, although well off the lows, still off about $4 on the day. So we're looking at our daily chart in Japanese average format. There's a couple of things we use this chart for, but typically what I'm looking for is to determine the strength of the current trend that it's in. So what I mean by that is when we're looking at this chart, uh, for example, here it's at 1390, begins to trade lower. We get our pivotal candle, smaller body, not quite a doji. Lack of these uh, upper wicks on the way down, but look at the relative size of these bodies. These bodies are, in, when you compare them to other bodies, although kind of narrows out in here, but they're pretty sizable. They're pretty, uh, they're telling us that that downtrend was pretty darn strong. Same with this and same with the uptrend. Now, take a look at these recent red candles. This is, again, our daily chart. But on these recent red candles, have we seen lower pricing? Absolutely, we have. The market stalled 1305. This is that top right in here. And we've had really a doji and then a smaller, almost a doji, but it, it, it is a red candle. But I draw your attention to the fact that they're really, really small-bodied candles. And when you have these small-bodied candles, they can be a pivot point, but typically what you'll see is some follow-through on the way down. In other words, if this market wasn't supportive right now and had a lot of uncertainty kind of ingrained within the price that they're not willing to pull that premium out of, you could see this market trade drastically lower. And it is not. So, Again, we are trading lower. We'll have to see where it goes. We've had these down days. They are red candles, but they're not showing us that this downtrend has any kind of real strength as of yet. So in terms of on a technical basis, have we inflicted any long-term, any major damage on, on the bull side? I have to say, still, as of yet, no. We've been under pressure, no doubt. But ever since we've hit this low right in here, and then began our rally. This is that $200 rally, basically 61% retracement. I still believe that what we could be witnessing is the market consolidating, forming some sort of strength in this, not strength in this area, but uh, support in this area, and will slowly meander to higher prices. Now, of course, all bets are off in that if they resolve the crisis over in the Ukraine, Ukraine, or if there's discussions that change that perception, we could see this market under pressure in the same way. If we see an escalation, we could see upside pressure in the market. We'll have to see how all of this unfolds midweek. We'll have to see how the market wants to close through the week. Now, traders, we've had downside pressure on both gold and silver. However, as you know, I really believe that there's more potential for downside in silver than there is for gold. We have, I believe, a pretty critical support level at about $19 per ounce. If we break through there, we've got this extreme low at around $18.50. But when you look at recent price activity, it really hasn't gone in this particular channel. When I say channel, I just mean I should say price trading range except for this point last year in July as it came out of it in August and then we had this tremendous spike. So my sense is that let's see if it wants to find support at 19. If not, we'll give you our next numbers, but right now critical support 1902. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow on Thursday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.